Hey guys, Adam Family, welcome back. How you guys all doing tonight? Yeah, we're doing okay. There goes my camera going a little. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got the uh, new QST magazines for the hell of it. You pay, what, $22 or something, or was it 22 23 And this is what you get, man. This was in my mailbox yesterday, and it was soaking wet. Finally, it's dry, and it looks like a something that came off of a bark of a tree. You pay for this. You think they put plastic on your magazines? No. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Madness, wannabeness. Uh, we covered that already, didn't we? I don't remember now. What did we cover? Oh, the, the Brady Bunch family of uh, the amateur radio clown acts on the radio. So we, we've been uh, doing some radio. Band conditions are kind of up and down. Uh, 20 meters has been very good uh, at times. Lately, it's been up and down. Uh, 40 meters, it's just too noisy. It's very too noisy. Um, okay, never mind. Um, it's 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 just you know how everything goes. You know, it's either noisy or a bit good band conditions. That's how it's been lately. Because the summer months, winter months is usually a lot better. Um, yeah, this Brady Bunch situation is really getting out of control. They're doing it again. I'm going to keep saying it and saying it and saying it on here. I don't give a crap. They stumble across my video. It's going to eventually click and get them off doing this crap. If you're going to start, you talk about this, this, this crap. Uh, let's see, this thing on? Okay, it is on. If you're talking about this stuff, do it already. Don't talk about it. Do it. You know, you got George over here, George over there, Jill over here, you got Bob over here, then you got freaking Stan down over here. They're all talking like this. And one talks after another, another one, or there's a guy in there that's not really popular. They, they, they focus on the main guy on the bottom or the top. It's like, come on, really? Are we playing tic-tac-toe? Are we playing, uh, uh, what's that other game there? They're all in these little boxes, and you got to guess what uh, what it is, and you chime in. Uh, not tic-tac-toe. It was some other thing. I forgot the hell the name of that game show. Is. It's just stupid. But they're making a game out of this. This is not a game, folks. This is a hobby of interest. You know, and then... Um, you know, it, it's it's a hobby that was meant for us amateur radio operators to get on the air and work a guy from here to whatever you're working to, whatever your 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 preferences of working DX or if you're a two meter operator, six meter operator, it's, they call it the magic band. It's like it's like it's a VHF, but it, it it acts as skip. You get uh, the the back stuff. Uh, Get two meters would be ducting. It's almost pretty much as a, as a six meters. You gotta, you gotta wait for the right moment to get on there, and you'll get talk from here to California in six meters, which is VHF. Two meters U, uh, VHF. UHF is uh, 40, 440 meg. But uh, anyways, you know if you're gonna talk talk about stuff, do it. Take take pick up one of these. You know, do that. Get something out of your your. I collect parts. If you if you got even parts, I mean, look at. I even got spare junk finals out of something. I don't know. I even got new ones uh, for a radio for a driver. I got new drivers. I mean, you buy stuff. You fix your own stuff. Do that. Do this. Put that away. I mean. You, then when you're done with the project, you're, you're proud of yourself because it makes you feel good after you, you made something work again. Like me, I got my SB200. I got it running. I got it, and then uh, I had a power fall. It, it, it was a bad one. It, it, I was on the phone with my buddy, and uh, we had a power surge. It took my power supply section out, and... I don't know if I have any pictures or, or a roll I could put on here, but I don't, I don't know if I remember if I erased it or I put it on. I can't remember. But it took out a uh, a resistor, right? In, you know, the power supply. It was the Harbick 
uh, board and all that and new caps the caps are really small now they're like that big but anyways it's all been redone all the whole top end of the rf deck has been done and uh and there's some other things else i had to do but i had to wait on parts but anyways i got it running running good running the way i want it it's running smoothly never push them i have the pen lab tubes in there i got the amp from a friend i bought and uh ran beautiful and and it just ran and ran and ran and ran fixed a few things on it it just ran like a tank you know see this is what i'm saying right there it's all about amateur radio you repair your own stuff at a certain extent like the old stuff you can repair i had a i had a i had a voltage fault in here the the the, the, the power in this room sucks i have uh, monitors in here i got one there i got one up there right now our voltage is 115 to 116 volts if someone's someone's air kicks on that thing will jack up to 125 120 volts or drop right down and my amp will go crazy because you're running an old school amplifier they didn't have a bulk boost transformers uh back then now they do are these new high technology uh stuff new tech uh amplifiers that detect that kind of thing and it stabilizes the voltages well that uh, sp200 that, that voltage spiked right up and it blew that damn uh, protective resistor right out of there. It's a ballast resistor, like a ceramic resistor, and it has windings inside. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. It was like a 47 microfarad or 47 ohm at uh, that was a 2 watt, 3 watt resistor. And it just went, took that sucker right out and it buzzed like crazy. It sounded like a giant bug zapper. And it, it, it just, it, 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 it was starting to short itself out, that resistor. Was, it was so damn burnt that it was starting to arc over onto the next point where it's got to go, but it couldn't go nowhere. So I shut the thing off. I'm like, damn, that was loud. A loud bang, a loud, it almost sounded like a zapper. And it flashed right in the front. I know right where we was at. It was right in the front of the, right in front of the amplifier. But uh, that's what I'm saying. You can fix these things. I'm right now waiting on my parts. It will run. I just, uh, for some odd reason, I put the wrong value resistors on the plate in the back and I burnt those resistors out. Stupid me. Hey, we all make mistakes, right? Or no one's perfect. Everybody says, when they get on here, oh, I did this. I did this correct. Oh, I'm perfect. I never make mistakes. We all make mistakes, people. Come on, really? I make mistakes. I, I, I bleep up. We all bleep up. Not just in radio, in life in general, okay? Right? I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I, I, I just don't understand how, how this, um, this, um, the same community is going. It's all going on the YouTuber right here. It's all going on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't talk, but I'm doing this because I enjoy this hobby. I don't make a damn career out of it. I don't make a, I don't, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, making it into a whore, you know, dressing up like a whore and going out there and saying, oh, this is amateur radio. You gotta have a, you gotta have a channel to do this. I'm doing this because I love it. And I'm showing people that, that I have passion for this. I don't sit around in front of a computer and talk about about four or five people in a square my fat face is right here and there's four other people around me and talking like a bunch of little 12 year olds on a, in a camera and saying oh what video game are you playing are you playing this are you playing that or or, or whatever no th th this is no game man this is this is reality get to reality you bunch of clown act weirdos or uh wannabes Oh, there goes my scanner. Someone's got dementia. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, but anyways, uh, you, you guys tell me, what is going on with this community? Uh, us guys. It could be anybody. Uh, us hams. It could be anything. Anybody with radio, any radio experience, anybody as an old-timer, anybody that's been in radio for decades. Me, I've been on for decades. I've been on for 30 years, and I feel like like it's been gone like since like yesterday started off real small from nothing to now to now i mean i got stuff that i never thought i would ever have
but there's stuff I would love to have, but I, I can't afford it. You know, you just gotta work at it, work at it, work at it, and just use what you got, you know? And you got these guys, the reason why they do this crap is they get sponsored and stuff. Yeah, I wish I had sponsors. I'd have a sponsorship and I'd be, I'd be reviewing it top and bottom, using that item every day. It could be, I don't care if it's a damn uh, tool shed or it could be a ding, whatever it is, it'd be shown on the channel. Half these guys don't, they, they show it and then after a few, few sessions, you never see it again. You never see it. If anybody that would demonstrate, I would be a perfect demonstration of a radio or how to operate a thing properly. These guys just turn it on and they, oh, well, you know, this is how it's got to go, da 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 Oh, here's the scope. Well, how's the scope work? Well, you know, da, 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 da. well, how's that SDR work? Is that a hybrid or is that an SDR? Oh, no, 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 that's, a, that, that's an SDR. No, no, that's a hybrid. What the hell is the difference between a hybrid SDR and a uh, uh, SDR? It doesn't make any sense. It does the same freaking thing. It takes samples off in the, the processor and the radio off the, the receiving end, and it, and it puts it on a screen in, in a graph. What the hell is so hard about thinking about how it works? It's the same freaking thing. What it, what, it's digital. It's not analog, analog, digital, whatever. I mean, yeah, we got processors and, and a signal processor and this filter, that shaping filters, contour filter, uh, this filter, that filter, the uh, toilet, toilet and sink filter. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's got crystals. It's got digital in it. What has to do with SDR? SDR is SDR. You got an SDR screen. You got SDR play. You got these little new little devices out, these little... Uh, Chinese uh, uh, little SDR screens. You could just place it on your desk, put an antenna on there, watch that. What is that? Hybrid? Is that hybrid? Is it? Is it? A, is it a robot? Is it half human? What is it? I don't get it. What is this? This this is stupid. I think it's got it's got human DNA in a SDR. I think it has a, a mind of its own. It's robot and half human. That's what they want to do nowadays is have all the robots rule the earth like ter like the Terminator. We're going to be overruled by robots someday. And guess what? We the people ain't going to put up with that crap. Just like with these these cars, these self-riding cars, the guys in California took that damn thing and blew the thing up. You know why? Because it ran somebody over. Because there's nobody driving the damn thing. See, folks, this is, this is what I'm saying. Reality is not reality no more. It's all fake. Fake. This is the word again. Fake. It keeps coming up all the time. Just like in my videos, ladies and gentlemen. When I do a video, I do a video. If I feel I have to do one, I'll do it. If I do radio or I do shortwave or ham, whatever it is, I'll do it. It's not scripted. I don't have a freaking piece of paper or, like, or whatever to say, oh, I got to say this or oh, I got I got to say that or I, you know, I, I mean, I say certain things, but I don't want to go overboard because this is my channel. I enjoy my having my channel, but they got to be, it's all scripted. If it had to be scripted, I would have to jot something down that I, I don't want to, if I forget something to, to bring up a topic. I've done it a few times or two, but I rarely do it. It's all right here in your face, in the action right here. There's no magic. There's no nobody behind me. It's me, just me in this room, in this bedroom, ham shack, whatever you want to call this place. This is it. Like I said. Like I said. No, there's nothing in there. There's stuff in there. Ooh. What is going on? You know, what is going on with this? I mean, uh, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to change a fuse out of a damn uh, a fuse box or, 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 your, or your, your power supply of your thing. They'll make a big thing about that. Oh, what kind of power pole do you use? Do you use a power pole or do you use a fuse? What, I use a blade fuse. Do you use an old still glass type fuse? Do you use those power poles? Who the hell cares? Just put the dang thing on there and call it a night. This is not rocket science tree. This is amateur radio. Whatever kind of radios you guys are in. Anybody. Not just us hands. It could be 11 meter operators. It could be GMRS operators. It could be 
FMRS. I don't know. Well, everybody's got a. Everybody's got a. Um, everybody has has their thing. You know, everybody's got their comfort zone. Okay, mine is radio. I don't care what it is. It's radio. I love radio. I always did since I was a little kid. I remember when I was such a little kid. Uh, by I don't know, high as a June bug, I guess, as the old saying goes down here. I can remember taking apart my first radio. I had it been no more than three or four years old, five years old. No, about three or four. It was probably in the late 70s or so, and the 70s was just about over, 78, 79-ish maybe. I had an old AM radio. It was like a small AM radio, probably about that big with a little handle on it. It had a dial in the middle, and you just flick it on the top. What did I do? I opened it up. I want to see how it worked. And I opened it up. I was like, oh, wow, look at all these batteries in there and all these. What is these little round things? What is this? What is that? Oh, man. And I go to my parents. Look at inside this thing. There's like millions of batteries. No, why did you do that? Why? No, no, no. You know, did I bring it on to friends and everything? They're like, oh, that's electrolytic capacitors or something or whatever. And they're, they're explaining it to me. I didn't know what the hell that was. I thought it was just batteries. It kind of acts like a battery. It stores certain voltages, certain components in a, in a circuit. Holds like a battery and it charges that circuit. See, I didn't know that back in the day. I was a little kid. I don't understand that. So that's probably what got me the bug. Taking apart a radio, an old AM radio back in the day. That was way back in the day, an AM radio. I mean, it was an adult radio. You just carry around with you, bring it to your job site. You just put it on, you know, and then just position your radio as add the built-in rod inside. And I think it, I think it had... No, it was just AM. It was just AM. And I think I got it for my birthday or Christmas. I can't remember that too long. But I remember taking the damn thing apart. It had like a... It was like a radio and it had like a sonar looking round thing in the center. And it had the, had the crosshair thing in the middle and it had the channels on the, on the inside the dial. And uh, I remember taking that thing apart in my bedroom, sitting down on the floor... My uh, father had his tools in the house because he had to go to work or something. I remember grabbing a Phillips head screwdriver, sitting there, taking it apart, taking my time, taking this thing apart. And then as soon as I cracked that thing open, I'm like, wow, what is this? What did I get into? Oh, my God. It was, it was like, fascinating. What is this? How does this thing actually work with all this? You know, I, I didn't know. I was a little kid. You know, I mean, this is what I'm saying, like, right here. Nobody experiments anymore. Nobody uh, builds anything anymore, you know, or fixes their, at a certain extent. I understand the new technology we have today. This hybrid thing has our DNA in it now and it has uh, uh, half human, half robot, and analog, digital, hybrid, whatever the hell it is. Some of them rays we can't fix. If you're knowledgeable with surface milk tech, surface mount, techno mount technology if i can talk correctly excuse me on that one then you can go ahead and do it you got to use these special tools it's like a tweezer uh like a like a gun it's, a, it's like a, a solder iron. you go down heat the both ends heat up and you pull up on it or you just flick it and you just put another one down in there hold it and then let go of it you got to have a magnifier you go in i can't do that so my eyes are not the greatest the only things I can fix is these older rigs, you know, these GX2s, GX1s, uh, the older Kenwoods, the hybrid. Oh, that's right. They got hybrid back in the 70s, the TS 520. Well, that I could see. See, there's a two difference. Nowadays and back in the 70s, the TS 520 and the TS 520 SE. Hybrid means tube uh, uh, tube output tubes, final tubes, and it had a, 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 a driver to drive the tubes. The rest of it was all circuit boards with capacitors and your whatever, you know. You know where I'm getting at. That's hybrid, meaning it's two different things. Tube type and, and solid state. That's the word I'm looking for. Nowadays, hybrid means machine it's half human half robot and robots are going to take over this whole entire world we're going to be doomed that stupid that geeky son of a gun i want to 
what's his name there that started all this? Musk. Mr. Musk. That stinks like uh, a moose's ass. That's what Musk is. The scent of a moose's ass. When they are in mating season, they piss on a tree like deer do. They got the musk. They, they piss everywhere. The female will smell it miles away, and they find the male. Oh, and they get excited, and then, then that's how they, you know. That son of a bitch. That guy there, he's a nothing but a cr piece of crap for the United States. What a jokester that clown is. Elon Musk, or whatever it is. Mr. I, call him, I name him Mr. Piss. Because he stinks. All he wants to have this world is run by robots. All these poor people at these little fast food joints are going to be run by robots. It's already, it's already happened, folks. It was on the news. Some of these people are lined up outside crying. They lost their jobs. They're probably making $20 an hour or $25 an hour. That's all they get. And they have to support their families to survive. Like these, these, these time of days that we're living in now. In this modern world we got. This hybrid world we're living in right now that's my new topic everything is hybrid we're in hybrid world it's not like the old days solid state against uh, solid state and tube type radio all in one that's hybrid meaning two different things now the world is whole hybrid meaning they're taking syllabization syllabization i can't even talk i'm so i'm just so upset they take reality, make it into a hybrid, meaning it's all going to be all run by machines. All run by machines. Run by machines. By from this one asshole, you got this one. Then you got that other clown act president that we have that's dimensional. He's got dementia. He can't even hold his pecker up if he had to. And he's out stumbling down on the stairs. You know what, I shouldn't get into that because maybe some people get butt hurt out there because they probably like this guy, but I don't like him because he's making our country crap. My grandfather fought for this country. My granddaddy was a Marine, is a Marine, but he's, he's long gone. He fought for this country in Korea. He did everything. Now look at the, what the world's like now. If he was still alive today, he'd be going nuts right now. You know, I came from a military family, I, you know, and, and, and it, it's sad. I had a step-grandfather. He was in the military, and I had I have a cousin that was in the military. I think she retired or something. I, I don't remember. But our country is, is not – We our freedom is gone. Freedom of speech is gone. Uh, every, as you know, the walk of life is, is slowly diminishing. Everything. Our rights – you know, whatever's been said is not the way it is anymore. Anyways, guys, I just thought I uh, did a little ripping and raving here on about ham radio, and uh, I didn't really want to talk politics, but that, that's how it is. It's, it's about that stupid piss guy. He's number, number one of all this mess, causing all this trouble with this hybrid shit, robots, and all this wannabe wacky bull stuff that's it's probably never going to happen people are going to end up smashing them or uh, blowing them up and uh, kicking them over and they got these new things in new york i think i was new york or california i can't remember they have these 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 police things now someone's going to smash that thing right over or bulldoze the thing over with their car are you kidding me a robot's going to tell you to keep your hands out because we're going to be going to arrest you what are they going to do piss oil on you and call oh, you're going to jail they got this little arm that comes out, it'll shock you, and then and they, and, 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 and the police come and cuff you. That's hybrid. 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 Yeah, it's it's the digital age. It's human and machine. That's what hybrid means nowadays. Human and machine. Human and machine. Just like what our radios now. Well, the 70s, that was that was one thing. That made sense. Here it is, we're in 2023, I mean 2023, 2024, it's getting worse. Everything is hybrid. Even you go outside of your door, it's hybrid. Everything's not real anymore. It's all fake. Fake as soon as you walk out that door of your house. Everybody's not even themselves anyway. Everybody's programmed.
from the president, that piece of shit president we have. They're all programmed in their head. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. Oh, my God. Make sure you're going to wear your mask again. We might have bird flu now. We're going to have that. We're going to have a new epidemic before the elections. And all. Oh, for God's sakes. Come on. Between the hybrid shit, the robots, this, that, and then... And, and, my thing is, I th you want my honest opinion? I think Walmart and uh, Amazon, the government's got their fingers in the pie over there. Walmart, we used to shop at Walmart, and it's nothing but a crappy scam. They scam your cards, and they say, that card don't work, this card don't work. Oh, and they take your money out. I mean, you, tr you know, they're, they're bad. I don't... Uh, I don't ever buy stuff from Amazon unless I had to, but I knew somebody had bought stuff from Amazon and they got ripped off and they try to say, Oh, where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it means you're not, you're, they're, they're, you ain't going to get your money back. It's hybrid. Everything's hybrid now. Everything is all done by robots. Robots. None of this anymore. No hands. Nobody does this anymore. Nobody, nobody can even do anything. You can, pretty soon you're not going to go like this no more. They're going to have a robot come up to you, sit by you on your side over here, go, you want a drink? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, Mr. Robot. Mr. Musk. Thank you. Wake up, people! Just wake up. This is not. This is not the end. This is gonna. This is gonna get worse. Wait. Wait till before the elections, cause it's gonna happen. Everything's gonna be hybrid. Hybrid. Everything's hybrid. Everything's fake. Everything is machine, human, and machine. Mostly machine now, and in brainwashing and and machine. Now the machines are gonna start brainwashing us. Not our radios. Not our amateur radios. Those are two different things. Now they're, I just renewed my license this past, what, four months ago? They make it so hard that you can't even get it back. It's a pain in the ass. You got to go through all this stuff online. You used to call it whoever who it is. You get it done, and it's done. Now you got to go through online. You got to make an account through the FCC. You got to do this. You got to do that. What a bunch of crap. Costs like $30, $34, $32 or something like that. Then you got to use, then you got to do, do their job. I am not kidding. If some of you guys have your licenses up, be prepared when you do your license. It's a pain in the ass. You're going to have to call the FCC and have, go step by step. Make sure you got your FRN number. And they, then you got to give them uh, the, your ticket number. I, I forget what it is. And they give you whatever it is. And they don't even send you your license in the mail anymore. It's all hybrided in the computer system it's all virtual reality if you want your ticket you probably have to pay for that piece of freaking paper that cost one cent to make not even yeah hybrid pretty soon we're gonna uh, uh have hybrid people someday half human half robot some some guy uh some horny robot half horny robot and half man half robot is going to pregnate a regular lady, and there's going to be half robot, half human. That's that's hybrid. To, am I making any sense here? This this is how this world's turning out to be. It's fake, all fake stuff. Even people on the internet are all fake. They're not themselves. They read scripts. They get they do it to get kick out of uh, 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 get kicks and stuff for, for, for whatever. I mean, yeah, they got some great channels out here. I love YouTube. I've always been I've been a YouTuber for years and so epidemic before the epidemic happened I had a page open. It's just goofing around, you know, stuff like that. Then I got real serious and and it just progressed. You know, now I'm think hopefully I'll get to reach five hundred one day. Just hit your hit my hit the like subscribe button and and all uh, the notifications. Give me thumbs up. You guys are more than welcome to compliment. I'll talk to you back. I'm a nice dude. I'm not a hard ass. I'm just making points. 
I'm just making points on what's going on in this world. Even, even in our hobby. This nonsense words I can't stand. This freaking... You know what I'm talking about. I'm not getting any more into this. It's going to make me really PO'd, okay? I mean, we're lucky that we have this hobby because eventually the government... I'm surprised the government... Did that, that, see, that's why they're making it hard because the government knows that we're amateur radio operators. We can listen to HF and all those bands. We can listen to military. We can listen to Air Force. We can listen to everything. It's all on radio. And that's why they're making it really hard for us these days to get our license renewed and everything. Years ago, it was 10 years ago, all I had to do was make a phone call. Okay, this is this. Okay, I sent my money and done. It was done, like 20 bucks or something like I can't remember what it was. 10 $15, no, $20. Now it's like $35. And you got to do their work. They make it like saying, you know what, hell with this. Then you just lost your license. And you did all that work for nothing. I'm not losing my license, hell no. I'm proud of my license. I'm proud of my station. I'm proud of my call sign. I am going to be a ham for the day I die. You're going to carry me in a coffin before I, when they're going to take my license away. I'm telling you that right now. But anyways, everybody be safe, be cool. It's, you know, just... Just listen to what I tell you, you know, just look around you, just look around you, all this fake ass bullshit that's out there, all this, this craziness, you know, and they're making this hobby look like a damn, uh, not what it really is. What, what happened to the, the magic, you know, to me, I still feel it. Now I'm starting to lose it because I see people out there that are making it look like a, like it's a joke. And they're making stupid videos on themselves more than the radio. Me, I show my radios. I show what I'm doing. I show if I'm doing a project. You know how it goes on my channel. Whatever goes, it's, it, it, this is what I do. But anyways, guys, thank you for subscribing and then doing all that. And new subscribers, I got like 8.4 more that haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe. Hit the bell and the notification bell. Helps me out. Helps me grow more. I want to get growing here so I can get my feet down and get more into this. Now, right now, I'm just, just ranting and raving about these people that shouldn't be monetized and be advertising for their crappy bullcrap that they put on the Internet. And they're just totally worthless. To me, I don't give a crap what they do. But it's in your face all the time. I go on YouTube for radio, ham radio content. I like to watch some of my friends' stuff. I have friends out here. I have a lot of friends on this uh, on this uh, YouTube. I love YouTube. I met a lot of good, interesting people around the world. I got people from all over the world. You know, I have no, I don't have nothing against anybody. I'm not those people that hate people. I love people, you know, it's just the ones that piss me off is the ones you're going to get it, you know. Either than that, I have a lot of friends on YouTube, and I don't, I will never give it up. I like it, I enjoy it, this is my hobby. There's guys or car guys, I used to be a car guy, but I can't do it because my health is bad. I wish I could do, have a dream card I always wanted, but I can't afford it right now. I can't, if I wanted, I would have to sell everything, I'd probably get what I want, but... It's going to be a classic. It's not going to be a new piece of junk that they got. New hybrid car. They got hybrid and gasoline. Whatever that frig it is. Anyways, guys, I'm all done. I, I, I'm probably sounding like a jackass. If I am, if I'm sounding like a jackass, let me know. I won't do no more of this. I'm just, just venting. I had to vent to something. So I'm yelling in my phone. And you guys are seeing me do it. Live. Or not live. But well, after I upload this. And then this will happen. You guys see it. And you guys are going to be like. Oh my god. He, I think Adam's lost his mind. But no, no. I don't think I did. I think I'm just trying to make a point. You know. And. Uh, it's the war of the machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways guys. 73's. We'll catch you on the next one. Remember, hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the notification bell, give me thumbs up, give me some comments, give me everything you got. I love it. I love your comments. Love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. 73s.